Hi Aquarius, Happy New Year, Gregorian New Year. <laughs> Alright, welcome to the space. If you're new, it is called Opal Oracle, and if you are returning, welcome back. Okay, I want to mention a few things before we jump into your cards, and we'll go month to month. <clears throat> um, I had a black leather vest on and a black uh, scarf, and it was all kind of bundled up, and then I slowly was taking off layers. And I was like, this is too hard for Aquarius. And that's something I feel like you are, there's something you're softening in yourself. You're ruled by Saturn, right? Which is a very hard sign, hard energy. And it's a softening. You know, air can be kind of sharp too. I mean, air can also be really soft, right? Like a cool breeze on a summer day. I guess it's still cold though, <clears throat> um, more than hot. But I ended up finding two soft things. Uh, and I want to read you this small passage because it's relevant to that. This is from this book called Free Play, uh, Improvisation in Life and Art, and it's by Stephen Nachmanovich. Okay, page 64. Uh, this uh, chapter is entitled Sex and Violins. <laughs> the same is true of the ki kinesthetic sense. <clears throat> The harder we press on a violin string, the less we can feel it. The louder we play, the less we can hear it. The more relaxed and ready the muscles are, the more different ways they can move. The method is to free up the hands, arms, shoulders, every part of the body, making them soft, strong, and supple so that the inspiration can pass impeded down the, down the muscle, nerve, mind channels. Unimpeded by what? By involuntary contractions of the voluntary muscles, by spasms of will. Our fears, doubts, and rigidities are manifested psycho physiologically as excessive mus muscular tension, or what William Reich, oh, he's lovely, called body armor. And that's when I saw this, I was like, it was like that leather vest. If I try, quote unquote, to play, I fail. If I force the play, I crush it. If I race, I trip. Anytime I stiffen or bracing myself against some error or problem, the very act of bracing would cause the problem to occur. The only road to strength is vulnerability. <laughs> so good job with this. And you know, <clears throat> I actually rolled the dice for everyone and I have four phrases, two word phrases for you that I will share in a moment. But I rolled the sun in Aquarius actually in the 10th house. And you're low sun, uh, astrologically, little extra bit. Um, so I feel like because the sun is up in the highest point, noon, right? When the sun is the brightest and the most known, this is more light coming into your life. This is more of the Leo, maybe love and romance too. It could also be really awesome creativity in your job. Um, <clears throat> people wanting to know what you know or respecting your opinion more. Maybe you feel more confident in stepping into more of a leadership role with something, right? Which is beautiful. Um, they say you are the most mature or eldest of the heir children, right? So your four two word phrases are these. <laughs> Some of them are funny. You got your first one is big kahuna. <laughs> Big kahuna, and I heard it, it was like very, there were drums, it was definitely on an island. Um, color theory, which I like, that's that's cool. Uh, bare branches, bare branches. I feel like this is autumn, winter, spring, right? Or at least into early springs, more autumn, winter. Um, so this could also be a time... Well, I guess when that happens, it's usually colder. So this would be maybe something where you want to focus more because color to me is showing like a kind of creativity too. 
maybe working on something, working on your theory, right? You're very scientific. You like to figure it all out. So there's that. Um, and then time management. And I asked about that one. I was like, is that the one? And it, it, I heard it so clear again. It was like time management. <laughs> Which is cool because you really can get so much, you can achieve so much when you understand the parameters of that you're working within, right? Playing the infinite game inside, inside of the finite game. All right, Aquarius, uh, are we ready? Oh, split in half, okay. Is that it? <sighs> yep, January, okay. Okay, fifth house with the seven of swords. <clears throat> Venus is in retrograde during this time. Um, this would be a nice time for you to go over um, any previous relationships because I feel like you're healing something soulful with others. And for a lot of you, it has to do with more inter like interpersonal, very intimate relationships, regardless of your status at this time. It's like a healing inside of yourself about whether you trust people or not. Do you know what I mean? Whether you're honest or not, whether you sp speak and how you speak and how you're spoken to. Um, this also includes uh, realizing that if you have children, um, their bad behavior is a reflection of yours, just in case. Um, learn to see that creatively, right? Uh, this could also be where you had a creative, where there's something creative that you thought that you needed another person for, but you technically don't in certain ways now. But I think this was realizing more about your own ability to do, to figure out things on your own. But when you get to a place where you're stuck, knowing how to open up in your heart right and express what it is that you see or what it is that you are trying to create or be okay um i see again so you've been lied to before right manipulated took it well actually maybe maybe not ever lied to because you kind of know in one way when someone isn't telling you the truth Or when you're not being quite honest. When when there isn't honesty, it's like you already know in your heart. Maybe we all do, but I feel like you have a strong awareness of this because you're looking over at the heart, right? You're the guard, <clears throat> the heart, the heart guard. Um, and I and I see some sort of like shield coming down. But so maybe you want to just think about. Um, trust with other people and I guess softening like we said right <clears throat> if you're forced to play then you can't play you know what I mean if anyone's forced to play then it's not fun do you know what I mean it's not true it's not real I would also say in creative uh, Venus in retrograde because she represents art and creation, etc. This could also be where you want to go over and organize some of your ideas about that. Like really look at, okay, stepping forward, you know, like chest, a few steps ahead, a few places ahead, like even one big step ahead. What would that look like? What would the challenge be? And I want you to really <clears throat> think about it because it's almost like the sun in Aquarius is almost you presenting something to someone. You know what I mean? Like presenting an idea, present like present presenting. So to send again, right? You're tr you're trying to. Uh, look at it again differently or use different language about it particularly in the way that you how much you trust other people in your heart
and there can be you know and if you have been through some tough things that you have to look at which i feel like you're stronger about it but i want you to remember that life can be play <clears throat> aquarius you can be playful and pleasant you can have all kinds of pleasure in this life they're very sweet things you can have those okay little stuff february yes you can uh <laughs> three of cups in the second house cool Okay, so you create something, you go over what you want to create, and then you realize that you don't have to do everything alone, and that you have so much support, even if this is just emotional support in what you're trying to create, okay? <laughs> Could even be financial support for some of you, you know, maybe there's, I heard maybe there's a friend loan, or like there's somebody that is in your circle Where there's a lot of, this is February, this is your birthday time too? Let's see here. Well, I see you have a great birthday. It's a good, it's a good uh, February. I guess this would be saying to yourself too, say you are, just in case you are getting a little funky spot, it's like really say to yourself, I have awesome friends. You know, I have this money in the bank. Like, I have this this pretty dress. You know, I have this nice pair of boots. It's a uh, pantry full of food. I don't know, like little things, little things. Look at this beautiful day. Like really check into some basic kind of more tactile kinds of things. You know what I mean? Like you can feel the sun, etc. cetera. Uh, Because I guess your friends' talents, those in your circle that are around you, the talents that they have, I find in most circles or most tribes, especially if the smaller circles within the tribe, they tend to, people tend to have similar skill sets. The majority, I mean, are each one of those a little bit better or stronger or weaker within that? Yes. But whatever is expressed there is what is also within you. So maybe I want you to look at that too, like... Oh, I have, you know, well, I guess you're seeing the strength in others, so you can see the strength in yourself, but it's not on purpose to see that in yourself. It's just starting to know more about, again, this connectivity, right? Because Aquarius to me is so, it is almost like more of the collective than Pisces. Uh, But because you're Saturn, sometimes it can be restrictive. And I, I feel like you're opening up more again into these other places. Maybe you even want to... Well, expand, expand your circle in some kind of way. Or check in again, like we talked about these... Because <clears throat> I saw little circles inside of a big circle. All right. March. Wow, Pisces with the Pisces with the King of Cups. This can be Pisces because it has that little fishy, right? Where is it? Right there in the corner hiding. Can you see it? Double, okay, double, let's take it this way. Double Pisces and Pisces time. Okay, any of you who were here last year, and if not, I'll mention it shortly to r remind you. Last year, you had no water. There was no water. It, was no, it wasn't emotional. It wasn't, maybe you needed to realize where you were un, emotionally unhappy. Do you know what I mean? Being more true to your feelings and not just having that guard about whatever, whether this is your family, extended family, your kids, your lover, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, feeling more comfortable. And also, I guess in it, some ways, like really believing in... Um, love not just of a physical nature but also soulful nature something that's deeper i guess this is also having a really solid belief system but i see it's very important that that solidarity if you will that solidness is is
the invisible and the physical is more fluid. I hope I said that right. I feel like you're feeling good in this time. Uh, this King of Cups is looking over here. What's he looking at? Okay, you have an emotional test, too, of your own maturity in this time. How you want to deal with that? What's Pisces? Conjunct. Well, what do you believe love is? Or, like, what do you, what do you believe? Fill in that sentence. I believe... If you're dealing or working through Pisces energy too, if you know what that means specifically, <clears throat> there is a great maturity here, but there's still a reservedness that needs to be kind of, like just because there's maturity with something, right, the tree grows, that doesn't mean that there's not going to be bare branches sometimes. It gives us a different perspective, right? So maybe there's something like that. And pay attention to your memories when they come to you, especially during a dreams to memories, whether you're awake or sleeping, because it will show you, remember you're putting light into a place that is usually a little darker for you. And that's really beautiful. Again, more love, more <clears throat> creation, more romance, more fun right but also in a responsible way because you have that maturity of you to saturn mental kind of like all right i'm going to right do do what i need to do but realize that you can be so creative in that right you can improvise again the infinite game inside of the finite game aquarius i know you know how to do these compl complex math equations you just have to make the parameters first work within that <clears throat> right this is almost like you put water in the pool right you and i saw a really awesome concrete pool uh it had square sides though it wasn't round but the water goes in the pool so you know where it is you can go swim in that if you want to and i see that this water was clean so maybe that's another thing do you want a pool this year where's the closest place that you swim <laughs> all right april Ooh, hangman and lilith well, that's pretty strong. That's your first major. Well, I guess this is also what you're desiring in a sensual sense. Because it's not quite just love that I'm seeing. It's also passion. It doesn't have to be sexual, but it could be. Especially you had all this Pisces, then you have Hangman. That, that's more Pisces. It pulls up and then it goes into Lilith. What does Lilith want to say? Sagittarius. Okay, um, so you are learning. Oh, what page was that? 68? Is that what we said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 64. Okay, this is, listen. says, one year I decided to relearn to play the violin from scratch, unlearning everything I had learned before. I had to learn to play so softly that the music could barely be heard a few inches away and yet play with a tone that was interesting enough to keep me playing. I learned to barely tickle the strings so that they just whispered, yet whispered clearly and easily. I 
also feel like you need a new pillow or you want to um something about an awareness of your Well, I guess when you're playing really softly, you're more in tune with your body, right? And I guess that's what's happening here. So, April, just a second. Okay, so wherever Lilith is in your chart, you there's still something that you're working through there. Could be a transit with her. Lilith in the 12th. Well, I guess there's two, there's two points here. You can um, rebel, right, and do whatever... Just a minute. Well, whatever you're doing in, in April is you figuring out... You're trying to figure out something. One of the things is what you can see externally. Another thing is what you... want... What are you doing it for is a question in April who or like what what's the what's the purpose and I guess you want to be patient don't be too rebellious you want to, it's more about like surrendering than being rebellious in here but it's not surrender because you're weaker because you're being told what to do it's because you know that that's part of the learning process is you got to wait you got to be patient and you will find the answer and I do see like praying versus one of those things where you don't forget to ask for help. I heard what the next step is. Lilith is also very honest too. So if you are really stuck about something in yourself, if you know and you talk to one of your friends about it, they could totally just be like, D dude, what am I X, Y, Z? And they'll be like, oh, this. Who's your straight shooting friend? You know what I mean? Who is that? Or be that to yourself if you need to, but I also feel like it would be helpful uh, if it came from somebody else. So it'll help you to untangle something too or put something in the right place. May. Wow, Uranus with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, there's your ruler. Let's see, one of them. Modernity. Okay, so it was mental, a little bit of emotional, then big emotions, then like a spiritual space. Now we're in the earthly, earthly energy. Okay, this is kind of where, do you remember what we said where it's like you presenting something or someone respecting what you have to say or, or just your presence in the world, like in... Um, you know, I know you want to make a difference. I bet all of you have goals that have to do with bigger communities, right? I would presume so in some way. However you go about that, you, you really do care about humanity. So, uh, something, it could be something very innovative at work too. I also see this could be uh, where there's a bigger family get together and people like all get together. It could even be people from afar. Uh, 
Maybe something also that has been sort of distant also becomes closer. What do we have for time? Okay. You're just kind of... We're spending a lot of time on yours. Mm. Tide management. Okay, let's see. May. Well, I feel like there's something really big. There's a change with work. There's a change with family. The way I'm seeing it is this is positive, but that has a lot to do with whether you rebelled prior, right? Because Uranus is also about rebellion. Now, again, know where you stand in something. I mean, if we're talking about something that's wider in the world, like you and yourself is, is how you change the world. That's your, that's your magic, right? So... Yeah, this is really positive. I feel like good good for money, good for family, definitely some cool ideas. This could also be where you present something again. I'm seeing that word, present something to the world, like bring it to light. Maybe this is an idea. Again, you've been creating with what you have and really believing in that, right? And I know you don't follow protocol, which is cool. It makes you an individual, it makes you creative. All right, June. All right, opposition to Saturn. Wowza. Okay, that's actually really good. To the devil? Yeah. Opposing the devil? Fucking right. Good, Aquarius. Uh, I heard, remember some of this is God's job. Like some of your... Um, how do I explain that? Everybody has battles. Things they have to deal with. Uh, if you are... Well, I guess have any... You could be tempted in this time, June. Uh, you do also go from the Ten of Pentacles to the Double, which could be a lot of, like, putting in a lot of work, being really, really busy. So please make sure that you're also tending to your relationships, right, um... understanding that maybe some people's stress is coming from other places than necessarily interpersonally it's like bouncing off of stress or something or off of fear so uh i also see whatever if you if you are fighting the devil or whatever that means opposing the devil i do feel like you're strong you're really strong i mean technically this is your opposite energy you the the sun well now that you're in the sun energy I guess you're able to overcome some sort of shadow thing too. Like you finally get a ha you get a handle on it. It could also be where you and your somebody here is like, "Yo, dude, this is." I heard, "Yo, this is wrong," and somebody else is just like, "Well, you know." making a counter argument so I almost see like where people on the same team could be fighting about something like they believe the same thing they understand the same thing but it's like coming at it from different points of view so make sure that you're also objective in this time um, and if there's any habits you want to quit or change like something something you've been really because the devil's about being chained to something that's it's it's psychological you know what i mean it's it's not it's not necessarily t like tangible it's psychological uh i feel like you can really um you you'd have a good you can try But as the devil is the opposite, I guess, of God, let's take it this way, like, then your faith right here is going to matter a lot. Because the light will over always, even the smallest light puts light in a dark space, right? Light always wins. Love always wins over fear. Uh...
So I guess like it's almost like what I said in the beginning. It's like God has his own troubles or whatever his own that that kind of thing. It's like this is where you'd surrender and be like you got to give you got to give something to God to handle it because it may also for some of you be bigger than you in some kind of way something. And you could kind of oscillate like say you were you you finally became more clear with yourself and you're like I'm not going to do this anymore and not it's not healthy for me this person this this habit whatever this diet this this interaction like you you're just more honest about your time whatever it, this could be where you like fall back in you could fall back into a pit so but I heard that's only temporary let's see what the next month is to help us understand what's going on here because that's your second January, February, March, April, May, June, Ju July. Because see me with the four of pentacles. So you go from an opposition to a Kasimi, which means that they're, they're, they're together, right? It's the furthest apart and the strongest tension. And then you go back in and you're, you're close, everything, and even this four of pentacles is very like in the center, right? And I'm seeing this as Polaris too. So I actually see that you do overcome something. Cool. Well, I guess remember your power of prayer also in uh, prayer, meaning you surrendering something to God, right? You Or you surrendering something where you're like, you as an individual isn't taking on something that's like way bigger than you like the world or your family or whatever like you can love that but don't like tr trip i heard don't trip about it right uh if i if i race i i trip okay <sighs> july well i feel like you're really solid uh you want to be home in this time uh, it could be putting things in order also time management very important this is another earthly energy hang on to your money uh i guess this could also be well oh it could be that shadow where you went back in right you took off all that armor and then there's the leather jacket and then they're wearing a black uh coat too Again, and this is a Kasimi, which is about being like kind of in the heart, right? And he's blocking his heart. So this could be where you get afraid. Something's kind of scares you. And then you go back into whatever all that vulnerability was. But remember, the, the way the, the path to strength is vulnerability. August. Okay, solar eclipse and the five of pentacles. I don't know if there is one in this time. Um... Okay, so you go from the four to the five, which means you receive, so you add on to something. But sometimes having more uh, can make something, well, how do I see this? Well, you really wanna embrace the change right now. Realize that you have help. Um, realize you're not alone, right? That four of pentacles was very much singular, right? So you go within July, August, you come out and there's a test of trusting other people. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of determination, even if you had very little of something, which I don't see that being the case because you had the 10 here. Uh, it, it's more about being aware of how you want to help the world or how you want to be. Also, if you've been having any worries about security or whether something will pan out or I feel like there's a little bit of a, uh, because that from that devil up, right, is going to give a little bit of a shake, a Uranus too. It always shakes something and makes us a little Saturnian. It, make, it can cause a little like, ooh, what do I do? And that's a good thing to be aware of because then you're prepared, right? And so I feel like this also eclipses any fear out. Again, there's like another level of it because you, you're doing something practically. September, the sun and the Knight of cups. Well, isn't that romantic and lovely and very creative too? Solar eclipse and then the sun. Um, 
right? So solar eclipse, they say it's the sun and the moon together, right? And it makes it the sun, the moon, the moon goes in front of the sun. That's what they say. That's the way they show it. Let's back up. Basically, it was dark and now it is light again. Uh, I do see you going in the right direction. Um... This is also emphasizing that Aquarius sun that I saw is like there's more love in your heart. Do you have a little bit of a test in the summer? But they're not, it's not as big a test as you think because it's actually earthly. Maybe you want to look at your earth houses too if you know. Um, because once you feel secure... Well, you probably have to feel secure physically to be able to feel secure emotionally. This is a good time to also present something. Uh, I feel like that's very well, it's received well. Uh, this could also be like, whatever you have created is also something that is desired. Um, someone may also be sharing how they feel or like their appreciation or love for something in kind of a different way. It's very artistic here though. October. The eighth house with the empress. I transform with the empress. Wow. There's your, so you have three, three majors. There's the empress. So you could be, well, I guess some of you could. Well, how do I see this? Well, I guess it could have something to do with your mom. I, I also see there's something about, um, maybe your mother, your mother's mother. Could be feeling a lot better about your body too maybe this is something where whatever that fear was that was causing you to be like okay right because the empress is the most vulnerable and this goes back into the king of cups in march uh and then up into april with lilith too uh because the Empress has a lot of faith. I guess there could be something about real estate here for some of you. Something to do with land. Or like an inheritance. Um, I would also say this is learning from nature. Like learning magic from nature. Or just having a deeper connection. Like in your own physical body to that which is really sort of well it's, it's quite it's it's intimate because it's honest november scorpio with the page of swords cool that's like mercury and scorpio i like that um so asking some really good questions here having some really good ideas too oh i suppose the empress um around this time to back up a little bit also expresses a really good harvest and actually for some of you that devil opposition could also be where um there's like because i saw a garden where like some there were certain plants that like had bugs on them or something like that like um so if anything falls away in that way throughout the year you know, you put energy into it and it doesn't, it like falls. If there's anything that does do this, just be like, okay, well, I'm, this obviously needs to go. It's not healthy. I'm going to just plant new seeds. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously put some energy I heard into the, where you are planting. Um, Cause you're trying to do something natural too. All right. November. 
Well, November's looking at December. Let's see. Oh, the lovers and Aquarius. Wow. So that's December. It's like you receive something that you've been really, that you've been asking for for a long time. You could still have a few questions about it, uh, but there's something nice six years ago or six years into the six years. Maybe this goes back into whenever you asked for it. It's like six years ago or Because I guess you know now more about what you're what you're desiring or why you block your where why and how you block yourself, right? In a, in aligning yourself um, a little bit more, and I guess also softening. Because I guess because what you're doing is this year I guess is transforming and f it, it's sort of like. Let me try to use a different word. Uh, you're fixing something to do with your mind, which I guess is your memory or your experiences and the way those affect you physiologically. Like the psychology and the physiological connection. Which I guess is your soul and your body are more in tune with one another. Yeah, it's like w what we talked about before. It's like where you're unlearning the parts the, the parts that need to be unlearned. Now, does this mean you're going to unlearn everything in this time frame for the rest of your life? No. Uh, surrender with the emperor. No. <laughs> we'll have to, you know, ego's always got to get checked. But interesting. Very interesting, Aquarius. And it does actually feel a little romantic to me for some of you like there there's something although that doesn't usually come through in my reading so i don't know if you're wanting your relationships in that way to be right again son it's about it's about that that's a that's a part of it you know and I'd also say if you're of an age too it's like you know how, do you want to have kids do, do you like be a mother or father what do you, how do you feel about family Cool. Well, thank you, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. I do hope you have a great 2022. I guess that's the lovers and the devil card. So this year we get to choose whether we want to. And you have the lovers and the devil card here. Holy moly. Right? One is really dark and you're all chained up. And the other one is light and bright looking at God you know what I mean like you're either looking at fear or love hmm well thank you again happiest now I do appreciate all your support you being here any of you are still here thank you very much and and especially so uh yes anybody I've worked with privately thank you any of you have gone over to patreon thank you Thank you to extend these places in yourself and take that energy and time, you know, and realize that certain things, yes, like this is saying to yourself, I just saw uh, say, someone saying to themselves, yes, that is, this is worth my time. Very rushed there. Did you see? I got to get the time to time management. All right. Well, I love you anyway. Um, of course, uh, happiest now. Happy New Year depending when you find this merry christmas uh or happy holidays whatever you celebrate happy birthday i'll talk to you next time peace out